Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Zundu with For You Are New Here. And today we talk about new makeup in Australia. What does that mean? Brief rundown. Basically it means I have my laptop in front of me and we look at things that are on trend mood that we think will come to Australia. We could talk about when we think it will come, like timeline or if it will come to Australia. And then we also look at websites on what is currently new and accessible to us. So we look at Mecca, Sephora, um, we look at some other websites as well that are easily accessible for Australians like Adore Beauty, Beauty Bay, um, sometimes Colt Beauty, Beauty Lish, just depends on the product, but we get most of what we need at Mecca and Sephora and Priceline, you can't forget Priceline. So if you're interested in those kind of videos and you're Australian, or if you're not Australian, but you like to have a watch of people just talking about new makeup, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and let's get into it. So we're going to start as the at the usual Priceline. Okay, yeah, there is some new essence. It's the Disney Princess Collection. Isn't this, isn't this old, like really old? Or maybe they did, see that Essence does a lot of collabs. I don't know. I thought this was really old. Or maybe that was a different Disney character. Anyway, we've got some here. We have some false lashes. It looks like we have Tangled, Rapunzel and Jasmine from Aladdin. So we have two pairs of fake lashes, $7 each. That's a good price. We have two mascaras. Uh, one's Rapunzel, one is Jasmine, uh, $7 each. And then we also have two eyeshadow palettes. You guessed it, Rapunzel and Jasmine. <laughs> These are $20 each, which is quite expensive for Essence. These are new Ardell lashes that are eco. What does that mean? Let's have a little look. They retail for $13, but they're now $10.39 a pair. Uh, what does eco mean? Consciously crafted eyelashes, cruelty-free natural fiber lashes that feature an organic cotton band presented on a sustainable tray in a paper carton printed with soy ink, which makes it biodegradable. Carton and tray are 100% biodegradable and all materials are recyclable. Lashes are light, natural style, natural fibers. I like that they've not just said eco lash, but the whole packaging is. And this is the way. Um, I'm just going to plug myself here, but with my um, brand that I'm starting, um, I'll link my website down below if you wanna check it out. Um, I'm doing all my packaging is completely biodegradable from the postcard you get to the mailing bag to even the sticker, the mailing sticker is all biodegradable. Um, it's important that if I am going to be contributing to consumerism that it's at least, <sighs> at least somewhat considerate of the environment. So um, I am down with this Ardell. I don't wear lashes really, maybe twice a year I'll wear lashes. So I have absolutely no desire to buy these, but I like it, I like it. New from Maybelline, which is currently half off. This is the Tattoo Brow Lift. It retails for $27.95, but it's currently $13.97. Uh, this is a jewel ended brow stick, features a lifter brush to lift and sculpt brow hairs into place and a tinted wax and conditioning complex to give brows the perfect tint all day wear. I like the idea of it, but look at this knob. I'm going to zoom up on it. That was really inappropriate, Sam. Uh, look at this knob, uh, that is thick. Oh my God, I'm not even intentionally being rude. I'm just, that funny <laughs> that is too thick for your eyebrow area i like the idea of it but i don't think they've executed it this needs to be a th if they're gonna have i understand because wax is more emollient i understand why they've done that because if it was too thin it would break i get that but don't put it in a stick form or do it in that way that they do like sheer lipsticks where it's like i'll show you this is the lipstick that i'm wearing how you got the casing so that you only add a little bit because they're so emollient. If it was in a lipstick form, it just falls like the NARS lipsticks do. But if they did that same design, but in a small, because it is more emollient, I mean, did I just solve their whole problem? Yes, I did. Anyway, I like the idea, but I don't think, I just, it's too thick. If you have thick eyebrows, even still, it's not gonna get any shape. You need shaping with brows. 
So I bought this. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail, but it's, I, I, I forget. I usually go into Priceline, but I wanted to, I bought some hair care for my daughter. I did buy She Shea Moisture, as one of you suggested. I am gonna give it a try. Um, and then they had a hair care box that came for free. This was just yesterday, so I'm pretty sure it's still available. That was Saturday and you're watching this on Monday or Tuesday. Um, it'll be still available. So um, She Moisture was one of the brands. So I like to try, I'm gonna try the hair box for me, but I got the products for her. Anyway, I added in one makeup product. I'm very good. I added in this Color Sensational Ultimate Lipstick. Now, this, I don't think it's actually that new. So I don't know why it's here. Maybe they added more colors. There's only three colors available. So I went on Maybelline's website because the there's no swatches. You've got no idea what it actually looks like. So I went and had a look on Maybelline's website and I got this shade, the more mocha. It's like a brownie red and I am hoping it's going to work for me because, you know, like I love bold lipstick, so I'm sure it'll be fine. But I liked the shade. It was like a a warm brown, but not yellow brown, like a warm pinky ready brown. It looked nice. And then um, XX Revolution, Revolution XX. I'm gonna get a promo shot. What do you think you're doing? This was released three days ago and we're, we've already got it at Priceline. I'm telling you Priceline, if one day one day you see this video, I'm just gonna keep singing your praises because you are bringing it. I mean, I don't want this collection. I haven't even told you what it is, but. Okay, so we have the, this is the Powerpuff Girls collab with XX Revolution now. Colourpop was already done this and I bought the two blushes and they're like some of my favorite blushes. But this is, a, it's like Colourpop and Makeup Revolution just pound the collabs, you know? Anyway, that's their prerogative. Um, we have the eyeshadow palette, which is Chaos. Chaos. If you have an organized mind like I do, this is your worst nightmare. And I feel like a lot of makeup girls are really organized. Can you tell me if you're a really organized person? Let's do a poll down in the comments. If you're really, I'm not saying clean. I'm not a cleanest person, but I am organized. My makeup table, pristine at all times. I, it's always organized. Can you tell me if you are too? Because I feel like makeup girls, we love the order orderly eyeshadow palettes. And anytime there's a chaotic eyeshadow palette, we all scream, don't do it to these companies. Like, what are you doing? So let me know if you're an organized person down below. Uh, we have the Bubbles Power Shadow Palette. So there's the big palette and there's individuals. Buttercup Blossom is pink uh, palette. And then we have the Mojo Jojo Highlighter Palette. The Bubbles Liquid Blush. I saw these in action. They're like the um, with the it's like the Charlotte Tilbury with the sponge applicator, blossom liquid blush and buttercup liquid blush. We have the Glo lip gloss trio. We have the Him Primer Water Activated Cake Liner Palette. That actually looks really cute. And an the eye brush set and the Power Puff eye patches because you got puffy eye. Yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> Of anything, I'm not interested in anything, but I like the looks of the graphic liner palette, but I still wouldn't buy it. So that's that. Oh, we don't have everything, sorry. We've got the big palette, the shadow palettes, the cake liner, and the lip gloss. That's all that we got for, for Priceline. I did not mention that. Uh, the lip gloss is 20, the shadow palettes are 16, the big massive palette is 44, and the cake liner palette is 16. Very cool. And that's it. Everything else is already been mentioned from last fortnight. Hey, okay, let's go to Sephora. Okay, we have lip buckle up for you colorful eyeshadow fans. We have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Novena Pro Pigment Palette Volume 6 for face and body. $110, so that's not unusual. I think all the palettes are around that price. Uh, it is a massive palette, so I can understand the price. Uh, it's not my cup of tea. Um, did you see, I'm gonna find the picture and I'm going to show you the comparison between the Blend Bunny Surge palette and this, and the Blend Bunny looked better. However, that's very hard for us to access. Oh, Makeup Forever. 
You don't talk about them. I still love them as a brand. I love Makeup Forever, but they're just not hitting it like they used to. Uh, here we have an Artist Color Pro Eyeshadow Palette. This is interesting. Oh, there's three colors. So the first one I showed you was more brownie neutrals. This is more pinky toned. Oh, it's called Berry. And then this is called Tangerine. Cute, I like the Tangerine one. Just side note, I just see this. This is not makeup, but it's uh, health and well-being, which has become part of beauty. This here, I'm gonna show you Habitual Beauty. They have this collagen elixir sample pack, advanced skin and gut health. Can I ask your opinion on this? Because I have heard that collagen cannot be in, is not effective if it's ingested. It has to be topical for it to be effective. What are your thoughts on that? Because this whole consuming collagen is booming at the moment. I actually got contacted by the Collagen Co to send me products, but I actually rejected them. I said, mm, I'm a thank you, but no thank you, basically because I don't believe it works, but I, I, that, like, I haven't done extensive research on this. I just don't know what my thoughts are on it. If any of you have done research, does it have to be topical for it to work? This whole ingesting for hair, nails, and skin, does it work? I don't know. And now I'm like, should I have not rejected them? Like, does it actually work? Because people rave about it, but is it, what's the word I'm thinking of? There's a band, there's a band. Is it a placebo? <laughs> you know, that's how I remember the word from the band. Placebo. Is it a placebo effect? Anyway, I would love your opinion if you have one. Uh, Mecca, my beautiful Mecca. We have the new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk collection. I will get a promo shot. Oh gosh, it looks beautiful. I think I talked about it um, in from Trend Mood, but it's actually at Mecca now. The only downside to me filming these on a Sunday is because I film them on Sunday because my husband takes the kids to bed and I have complete silence, but I miss out on the things that are uploaded on Monday and I'm pretty sure this was uploaded the next day. No, this is pretty new, but other things that have been uploaded the next day and I just missed it, but that's okay. We still talk about it. So here we have the Pillow Talk collection. From that picture, uh, let's have a look at what we got. We got the Luxury Palette, $79. Don't love it, not my cup of tea. Two Beauty Light Wands, which are an extension of the existing ones, which is the highlighters. Um, I have the Spotlight, it's quite beautiful. Uh, the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara in Dream Pop. I'm interested in this, but I really don't need another mascara like totally don't but i it's like a plummy color plummy maroon color and i really want it uh but i don't need it 43 dollars. we have the multi glow pillow talk multi glow in two shades 55 dollars. that looks stunning as well it looks real stunning and then we have the pillow talk lip and cheek glow in two shades for 60 dollars so that's what we got from the collection. Is that everything? Oh, it looks like we didn't get the lip glosses or lip liners unless they've been, and lipsticks, unless they've been just added into that picture. I do not know, but that's what we got. Then from Morphe, we have a couple of things. Uh, I think, yeah, this is Morphe 2. Always online gel liner and sharpener in 10 shades and they are $10 each. Let me show you a better picture. These are all the colors. That's cheap. Even the Mecca Max ones are like $18, I think, or $16, $16 or $18. So that's even cheaper. But these are online only. That's the thing with Morphe. They do a lot of online only with Mecca. But Morphe has their own Australian website as well. So you can also, also go there. You don't have to go to Mecca. Uh, there are these new, this is also online only. The Blush Balm Soft Focus Cream Blush in five shades for $19. They look nice. They look just like really nice. Oh, they're limited edition and online only. They look like quite nice shades. Certainly don't need another cream blush. That's for show. The reality is I don't need anything, but if something draws my attention in like no other, I, I, I get it, don't I? 
Uh, we have the Cossus. Oh, we've got more Morphe. Sorry, let's continue with Morphe. We have the Flash of Rose eight piece rose gold brush set for $70, which ain't bad for eight pieces. That's under for $10 a piece. Yeah. And you get the case. And then we have the 18V Vava Bloom Artistry Palette. I bought this. I saw it in store. I swatched it. $28, I should say. And it was really pretty. So I have a video of that coming up. I've done a review on this palette if you're interested in it. Cause these are like, like really nice blushy pink tones without being loud, really pretty palette. So um, yeah, keep an eye out for that. That'll be coming up probably this week. And then we have the Too Faced Ethereal Eyeshadow Palette. Did I talk about this? I don't think I did. I think we've talked about it for Trend Mood, but it's now at Mecca. This is $58. I almost bought this one too, but there was so, take away the two blues and it's very similar. Like those, not very similar, yeah. The shimmers were very similar to the Morphe one. So I decided to get the Morphe one. Um, but never say never with the Too Faced. It's also limited edition. I'm sick of limited edition. There is the Better Than Sex um, mascara in the new packaging, riding that train. And also the blush is $45. I saw it in store and it was, it was very shimmery. It was a little too shimmery for me. So keep that in mind. I did swatch it. It wasn't my kind of pink that I like. And then there's also the Heartcore lipsticks. Okay, I saw on Too Faced's Instagram them doing live swatch, not live, but doing in action swatches of these colors. I did not like the colors. They were not on trend colors at all. They were loud, but in a lip balm form. I don't, I didn't, I don't, I didn't like it. I did not like it. And they're $33 each. And you know I love a good lipstick. So it's a lipstick lip balm hybrid. That's that's right. Do we have new stillers? What's this? Glisten and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. What do you mean new? Let's have a look. Maybe it's a new formula because they got a lot of feedback about them drying out. I think they might be new shades. I think they are. Well, there you go. Shimmer and glitter. And this one's Glisten. Oh, it's a new range. I'm just trying to think in my head. This is a new range, isn't it? What's it called? Glisten. Yeah, that's new. So it says it's multi-dimensional effect. Still as light catching liquid eyeshadow. They're pretty colors too. Tempting. That is tempting. I've heard nothing about it until right now in this moment. Interesting. I would like to go in store and have a little swatch of Rooney of those. And then Hourglass, we have the Vanish Airbrush Primer, a translucent, translucent skin perfecting primer uh, that smooths, absorbs shine, and adds a visibly blurred airbrushed finish while extending makeup wear. Translucent gel formula enhances the application. Uh, sounds very similar to the Mineral Veil. Uh, we have two more Morphe products. I swatched these blushes, $22, the Making New Blush Sculpting Powder Blush, five shades. I know a nice subtle blush is good, but it was like nothing came out. So I don't know about those. And then we have the 9P Petal Passion Artistry Palette. This is pretty, but I thought the other one was prettier, if I'm honest, the bigger palette. Uh, Mecca Max, we have the uh, Makeup Maximizers 5 piece essential brush set for $56. Mecca Max brushes are great. Mecca Cosmetica also brought out new brushes. Are they here? Yes, we're about to talk about them. They, uh, they're old ones, they shedded. I actually just got one from work. Um, they gave out some of their old ones that I had left over and it just, it shedded all over my face. Um, but the Mecca Max ones do not. And I haven't tried the new Mecca Cosmetica ones, but they look so good. They look so much better than the old ones. They've really, they've done well uh, with their brushes. And there's also the Coverage Crew three piece brush set from Mecca Max, $42. And the eye, Easy on the Eyes four piece eye brush set for $26. So that is such a good price. They are competing with Morphe. And in my opinion, they're a bit better than Morphe. The quality is really good. And then we have the Mecca Cosmetica. Now, I don't wanna show you every individual one, so let's see if I can find it on Instagram. 
they retail from $28 so they are a higher price point and these feel like a higher quality like the Mecha Max ones are great I they are great but they these felt actually luxury so they start from $28 and we've got a mixture of face and eye I really like the looks of the double-ended ones um, they I saw them in I felt that one in store and it it, it felt lovely so uh, definitely check those out in store I'm considering to buy some I am. Hourglass have the Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 3. I think they've gone deep. So they said their uh, second one was deep, but it wasn't deep. That was feedback that they got on social media, from my understanding. So this retails for $102. This one does look darker. So this features three brand new shades of Ambient Lighting Powder, two finishing powders and one strobe highlighter. It's a little bit of a, what do you call it, uh, knee-jerk response, like they should have done, this is what they should have done, or they should have done that other one that they did, the second volume two, but this one as well, like released two versions, but they didn't, they released one saying it was for deep skin tones and everyone was like, it's not, it's for medium to dark, um, so then they brought this one out. I'm glad they've done it, but it was very much a... Uh, response creation rather than just creating it uh okay all right ray morris pro starter set ray morris is a real hair eye brush eye brush makeup brush <laughs> company uh very expensive so this whole set is 1449 dollars um which has probably got discounting it because they are originally very expensive uh tom ford we have the traceless soft matte primer for 125 dollars i am not interested clinique we have two products we have the high impact easy liquid liner for 42 dollars and the high impact zero gravity mascara uh we have the face trace contour stick from westman atelier in a new shade I'm guessing it's deeper. Let's have a look because I'm pretty sure they only had one shade. They've now got three shades. So the original shade was Biscuit. Now there's Truffle and Ganache. Westman Atelier. Yeah. They, yeah. I'm glad they've done that. Tom Ford new shade of the eye color quad. $130. I do want one. I want to buy one, but I want it to be the right one. So there's a lot online, but in store I have like, my store has Tom Ford now, which is like amazing, but I still haven't bought anything because it's like. Oh, there's new shades of the One Step Correct. Stop it. From Stilla. What do you mean new shades? What? So they've always had the neutralizers redness. Now they've got one for deep skin tones and medium skin tones. Like seriously? So we have three. The, this picture shows four, but I'm pretty sure one of them is the kitten one where it's illuminating as well as, yeah, it says kitten, as well as correcting. Oh, well, I'm looking at what has already sold out. Uh, the RMS Eye Lights Cream Eyeshadow, I bought one. I'm still yet to use it. They are so nice. So I'm going to be real with you. I swatched the Costas 10 second ones and I swatched these ones, the RMS. RMS crapped on the Cossus. Cossus, if you like really, really light wash, it didn't do much at all, if I'm honest. These ones were beautiful. And then one of my work friends was wearing it when I was looking at them and it looked like it wasn't gonna budge and it looked so good on her. So I bought the second one strobe, but I also wanna get the second last one blaze. Was it Blaze? Yeah, it was the, like a darker, or was it Halo? No, it was Blaze. It looked like a really nice night time. So I think, I'm gonna see how Strobe wears through the day, but if I love it, I'm gonna go back and get Blaze for more intense. And then lastly, we have, that's sold out. So this will have, you'll have to go and store for this. Oh, this is online only limited edition. Almost Lipstick Black Honey from Clinique, the very viral lipstick. Oh, you know what? I think it's gorgeous, but I don't think it's the color for me. You know why this is beautiful? It looks like blood-stained lips, which looks so beautiful on so many people. But I have not been tempted, if I'm honest. Let's go over to my saved. 
Right, I think I'm going to buy this. Odin's Eye, I have never bought. I've almost bought many times, but I never have. They have a mystery box. Free shipping and affiliate code can be applied. They have two mystery boxes uh, coming out on Swedish time. 6 p.m. Swedish time is April 17th and ends on the 20th. They have two boxes, $45, American $45, for $90 worth, or $75 for $170 worth. So I'm actually thinking of getting the big box, bro. I've never tried Odin's Eye. This is my chance. I want their lip products, I want their blushes, I want their highlights, and I want an eyeshadow palette. And like, I wanna try all of their stuff, so I think this is my moment. I think this is my moment. My issue is I need to set an alarm because we're gonna be asleep. Let me do the math for you right now. Let's, <laughs> 9 a.m. PST to Sydney time. Let's just do lazy Google rather than me trying to figure it out. 2 a.m. Oh my God, that's 2 a.m. Why does this happen? I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to do it. So that'll be the 18th for us. April 18. 2 a.m. is their 17th. Yes, that's right. I'm gonna do an alarm right now. Oh, I'm so sorry, Vinny, for waking you up at 2 a.m., but it has to happen. I'm really into certain mystery boxes, and this is a good value, $75. So double that is $150. Okay, so you're getting like a lot. You're getting more than 50% off, like maybe even 60% off. <gasps> so excited. It does not include the Hella palette, apparently, which is the new collab with Angelica. So that's fine. I wasn't really interested in that one anyway. This from Ilya, I am predicting that we will get eventually. It looks really pretty. This is a, a multi-stick palette. Stick, there's no stick. Multi-stick palette for cheeks and lips. Oh, it's their sticks that they've put in a palette. Mm. So featured shades from top left, clockwise, Cosmic Dancer, In The Mood, which is new, Tenderly, At Last, Whisper is new, and In The City is new. So we've got three new and three existing shades. I am into this. Their multi-sticks are beautiful. And I really like these shades, and I'm considering when it comes to Mecca to get this. I think BYS have a new palette. Yeah, they do. This is the Untamed. I'm still yet to try one of their tinned eyeshadows. I don't know, I'm just not that tempted, but people do say it's good. Um, so that's now available. I'm sure you can get that at Kmart, but it's on their website. And then I do remember, uh, um, so they haven't released what it looks like, but um, what's her name? <laughs> Uh, What's Up Beauty, I have one of their eyeshadow palettes. They're an indie brand from America and it's one of my all time favorite palettes. It's such good quality. And I'll show you the original of what I have. So this is what I have, it's the Desert Monsoon palette. And then they're releasing a new one called Geodes. Annette's Makeup Corner got this in PR and put it on her stories. So she's already shown everyone what it looks like and they haven't even shown everyone. Um, so I don't think I'll be able to see that because it was in her stories. I'm thinking about getting it because I know the quality is really good. Um, and, and it was a pretty palette. It's, it was a little similar looking, but still really beautiful. And then we're going to go over to Trend Mood. Oh, I got my Trend Mood box. I got it yesterday and I'm going to show it in a video, but I, it's, so my Instagram stories, but by the time this goes up, it's gonna be gone. So, sorry, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you're missing out. My link is down below if you're interested. Lancome have, it's already in Asia, it says, Advanced Miracle Glow Foundation. It looks quite beautiful. The bottle, I mean, I don't know what the product looks like. Hydrating, watery glow, while staying fresh all day. Hyaluronic acid. High performing formula can last up to 12 hours. Radiant, lightweight, liquid formula with a radiant finish. Coming to the US soon. That looks real beautiful. I don't really try Lancome, but that looks real nice. Fenty have their face palette and everyone's like, what are you doing Fenty? <laughs> this is for makeup artists only. It is called 
the Sunstalker Bronze and Highlight Palette. I thought this was absolutely stunning, but I would use two of those shades and one highlighter. They should have done a light medium and then a dark deep. They should have done two. Like they're, she's a billionaire. She's, she can do it. If they just did two, this would have sold way better. That's my opinion. One size have blush. I think I talked about this actually. Blush and bronzer palettes. They actually look really nice. Uh, Sheen has um, She Glam is Sheen's makeup brand. This Picnic collection. I think I've decided I'm not going to support Sheen or She Glam. I just, I just saw a recent statistic on their environmental negative environmental impact compared to like H and M, Zara, all of them, and it was astronomically worse than all the other fast fashion brands. And I'm not saying that the fast fashion brands are good, but this was severely worse. So uh, I just, I can't, I don't think I can support it anymore. I, I bought from Shein once, maybe three years ago when it was starting to become popular, but the quality was not there. It was not there. It was very much hit and miss. So I don't think I'm missing much anyway. Uh, the new Patrick Tarr palette, which hasn't even come to Sydney, uh, Sydney, hasn't even come to Australia and it's already bloody sold out. <laughs> I don't even know if we're going to get it. Like Patrick Tarr's pretty bad at getting his product here. It's like, he's not ready. It's like, he's too big for what they're ready to give out. I am not interested in this palette. I actually saw the original one in store the other day and it made me want it actually swatching it and seeing it was the first time I was ever like, I want this palette. And I would want that one more than this one. I would just think I would wear the other one more. I like the shimmers in this palette, but I like the mattes in the other palette. Uh, the new Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer looks bloody beautiful. We haven't got that yet either. Light Tinted Moisturizer. Apparently it looks like the Glossier, but with more coverage and apparently that is amazing. Light to medium coverage with a radiant finish, blurs, hydrates, protects, 29 US dollars. It looks, it looks nice. Oh, this is the extra celestial. I showed you last fortnight, but they were like sneak peek pictures. This is the actual proper promo shot. Looks very pretty. Probably not interested though. It looks a little like everything else. Ah, oh, here we go, Gucci. I roll my eyes because I want it. <laughs> no hate here, just love. I have one of their shine lipsticks and it's just perfection. These are the new Rouge à Lèvres, Rouge à Lèvres liquid matte lipsticks, 42 US dollars each. Dries down transfer proof matte finish once applied in nine vibrant sunset shades. Uh, Morgan Turner put one on and it looked like a kind of more like a blurred lip. It looked beautiful. I really like the shades. Uh, another ColourPop. Oh, I haven't seen this. This was a week ago. Gosh, I'm out of the loop. Uh, it's new stone collection. We've got two eyeshadow palettes with 10 shades and a cream. So they're doing a Patrick Tar. It looks like the top left corner is a cream. Um, bottom row, all mattes. So we have set in stone and twist of slate. And we have fresh kiss lip creams in four shades. Here from Beauty Blender, these are the Bounce and Magic Fit Creamy Bronzer and Highlighter Duo. So we've got a cream bronzer, is the highlighter matte bronzer. It interacts with your skin's unique pH for custom buildable bronze in moments. And a bouncy gel cream highlighter infused with hyaluronic acid in four shades. I think they're both cream. Yes, it looks like it. Hmm. I'm intrigued. That looks nice. This is the limited edition Dior collection. This is the five couleurs couture, five eyeshadows embossed with the Dior Bayard, Bayardier stripe and the lipstick. Oh, that's cool. It's in a denim, $28 for the case. They're right. They look pretty, but not enough to buy it. Mac. They have the Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Lipstick. 12 shades. 12 shades lip balm. Oh, like a blur lip balm. That's interesting. I love the packaging. I love products that are like that, like this. I love that. 
Very easy to use. Luna Beauty. Where do we get Luna Beauty? Is it Beauty Bay? I can't remember. I think it is Beauty Bay. I think. Uh, they have an eyeshadow palette for $48, blush palette for $35, three lip oils for $18, one's watermelon scent, peach scent, and mango scent. Packaging is just stunning. I think this whole collection is stunning. I really do. I, I would use and I would buy all of those if I could. I think it's really nice. I love that blush palette. I think those colors are just absolutely stunning and I would wear all of those. I'd wear all of those shades. All right. That is everything that I can see worth talking about that's relatable for us. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment down below your thoughts on upcoming and existing things for us. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.